Hello again and welcome back. Again, my name is Steven and I work for MisfitPixGallery.com. Today I'm going to be showing you three buttons. The auto level, the auto contrast, and the sharpening tools that you can use in Photoscape. So when you open Photoscape, you go straight into your editor. And when you go into editor, open a file. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to auto level. You can just push the button, which it automatically levels everything brings out more texture, brightens colors, and usually clears away a little bit of shadows. So I'm going to push on do. And I'm going to you've got three different types. You got low, middle, high. Low just brings it in very gradually, like almost non uh, visible. You don't really notice the difference between them. Middle kind of brings it up a little bit more. High usually makes a little bit of an impression towards it. So I'm going to go triple, double high, now up to triple high, okay? And that's basically how it works. So now I'm going to show you the auto contrast. Click that, it does bring out a lot of the contrast, brings up more color, brightens, um, brightens other colors, kind of brings away some of the shadows or darkens the shadows, really depending on what you really want to do, but that's a little bit more advanced. So again, You've got three different types, low, middle, high. So I'm going to go high. And I'm going to go double high. And go triple high. Notice how it's bringing everything out just a little bit at a time. There's no real rush towards this. I, sp I stay, play around with it, figure out what works best for you. And now I'm going to show you how it works on a darker photo. So let's go auto level auto contrast just like that brings it out a lot more sharper brings up a lot of the colors and that's really all you need to need to know about that so now the third thing I'm going to show you is the sharpening tool sharpening tool basically you're able to push it and right after it finishes processing it brings you a sharpening window Right down here it says, set the radius between 0 0.1 and 1.0, and adjust the amount between 10% and 100%. So, for me, not really knowing what exactly I'm going to do about this, I'm going to bring it up to 1%, which is the maximum that it recommends, and 100%, which is also what it recommends. So with that, it has really sharpened up our photo here. If I click preview off, everything gets a bit more softer, a bit shadier, not a big deal. And then I could push preview on again, and notice on how it gets a little bit sharper. So this I'm just going to play around with, and I'm going to bring it up to, let's say, about 6.7. Just a crazy amount. Once it's finished uh, processing, there you go. Everything is so much more sharp, and I'm going to bring my percentage up to 300. And once it finishes processing, this is the result that we're going to have. This is now a very, very sharp photo. I'm just going to push OK, and I'm going to actually zoom in to really show you what, what goes on with uh, sharpening. There you go, I'm up to a 75% zoom. Now if you look really closely into this, it brings out a lot of the noise. This is something that you want to avoid if you're wanting to make really good professional photos. But, however, lots of people actually do enjoy the noise. I don't understand why. But, this is your maximum of sharpening. So I'm going to undo all this. It's going to go back to the original photo. And I'm going to push the down key on sharpening. Now with the down key, it brings you up a bunch of numbers, 1 through 13. These are all different levels of sharpening. So if I were to go like to a level 7, it's going to process really quickly, and we now have a sharper image. Not so much what I was going like doing with the last one, but I'm going to show you that her hair and her face are actually sharper. I'll go undo, and it'll soften. Go redo, and it'll get sharper. Now, just like I've been continuing to say that whenever you add layers upon layers, I'm going to click Sharpen again. Let's sharpen it another 7. 
So now this is technically a 14 sharpening. And there you have it. So much sharper, a little bit brighter, and this is our end result. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been a useful tool to uh, figuring out how next thing that you can do with Photoscape and editing your photos. Uh, my name is Steven. Once again, please subscribe to my channel, MisfitPixGallery.com, and I'll see you again.